Let's change speed now. The Battle of Isan Luana musical lecture is being staged in Johannesburg this week, or the end of the month, I'll stand corrected. The African Heritage Ensemble and a cappella group tells the story of the triumph over the British Army. In 1879, Zulu forces overwhelmed British soldiers in what is now KwaZulu-Natal. It was the first of the Anglo-Zulu Wars. Now, veteran singer and songwriter Mbuso Koza joins me now here in the studio to tell us more about his musical commemoration. Mbuso, thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday. Let's just get that correct. Which date is the musical lecture taking place? Uh, 25th of January. The 25th of January. Uh, now, uh, uh, yes, now yes. many people will now be um, watching this and they hear the date 1879. Now, yes. for many, especially our younger viewers, that's ancient history. Why is it important to tell the story? I mean, what we are today is an interplay uh, between the past. So the present uh, interplays with the past. So the, there's no way that you can keep moving mm -hmm. without knowing where you come from. Mm -hmm. And especially the, the, the colonial uh, I mean, challenges that we are facing even today, uh, they will be only be able to be addressed by revisiting these sets of events that we, we have encountered as Africans. So the Battle of Isandlana in 1879, January uh, 22, uh, took place in the north of KZN. Uh, the key players on, 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 on this battle was uh, King Gajwayo, uh, the general commander was Nchingwayo uh, Koza, Lord Chelmsford, uh, said the fellas Shepstein and, and, and many others. I won't dwell on the, mm. on the English people more because they victimized our people. <laughs> so, but now it was an ultimatum by Henry Battle uh, to King Gajaya that they, they, they want all, I mean, the jurisdiction of um, I, 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 I mean, England to, to be used in the land of uh, uh, the black people when they had nothing uh, to do with it. Uh, so I think uh, that's where the, the, I mean, the, the battle uh, I mean, started, that's what caused uh, mm -hmm. the battle, because they wanted us uh, to, 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 to function under their laws. Uh, there is a guy called Meshoga uh, Zulu, who killed uh, one of uh, his mothers uh, because she was uh, fornicating with the people who were working in Peter Marisbeck. They were busy mm. building the, the roads at that time. So now, because he was a, a man of the trial, so the, the British law said, no, this will be taken uh, care of by our laws. And then that's when uh, the dispute started. And uh, the strategy with which they uh, came to, uh, uh, to victory yes. is the one that I believe you focus on in this lecture that you're giving, that you have these warriors coming up against the so-called Western powers, yes. and they were able, through specific strategy, to be <laughs> victors on, uh, during that battle. Uh, definitely, the focus is on that, but moreover, we are trying to address this as an example of uh, unity. Mm. Today's leaders, today's government, I think they can learn a lot from that event because it is said that in preparation for this battle, uh, men of, I mean, uh, in the head of the houses, they would call their heirs and say, if we don't come back from this battle, take care of, this, of our homes. Uh, because they knew that I mean, uh, the, the English people were, 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 were like ahead with uh, technology in terms of their weaponry. Um, so now, but they were prepared to die not because they were going to get tenders. They were prepared to die not because they, they were going to gain influence. They were prepared to die for the future of their kids. So now, this now f uh, find place for the heritage in, in, in the modern uh, life or in the modern day. Because when we go back and look at the Battle of Eastern London, why were they fighting? It's because the land, they were protecting the land. They were protecting their language. Mm. Because once you, you, you can't speak your language, you are dead. So, yeah, I would say Battle of Eastern London is much exemplary in terms of finding space for the heritage. Mm. And now, if we come together, this uh, I mean, uh, lecture won't be about glorifying the Zulu nation. 
but I'm trying to position this particular event as a South African victory because now we are faced with tribalism, mm. xenophobia. Uh, so, but if we come together as South Africans, as Africans, we will be able to assume our space in an international world, our heritage. I mean, our culture will produce heritage that will be consumed by the world. So, so the point you're trying to make is that this wasn't merely a, a lesson to be learned as a, a nation of the Zulus, but an African victory in that time. Definitely, okay. definitely, because it's not only the Zulus who were faced uh, with, with colonialism. Mm. Even King Mshuesh fought with the British. Sikonyela was humiliated by the Afrikaners. Uh, in this why in Zulu, Sitiguna Masongo was Sikonyela because he was handcuffed. So uh, you, uh, the uh, tradition of storytelling is one of the most... Um, ancient skills yes. on the African continent. You've decided to use music to tell this specific story. The um, African, uh, your African heritage ensemble uh, uses a cappella music. Yes. So that is the tradition of song without music. Why did you decide that this would be a great way to tell this story? Music is a natural track. Uh, I mean, if, we, if I were to sit here and narrate history, I'm, I'm sure some of the, 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 the viewers will sleep. But if I were to come with the African Heritage Ensemble and sit here and say, in 1816, King Shaga composed this song, it will fascinate the listener. So I, I think that's why I decided to, 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 to take this as a musical lecture, even though a lot of history will be shared around the page of his and And again, I wish to overemphasize that this is not a... a I mean, a, a, a retelling of the, the musical, I mean, the, the history of San Juana, but I am trying to uh, pin out a few aspects of it that mm. could be a lesson into the modern day. Now, uh, those people who decide to come, who do you think this um, musical lecture will appeal to? And, and uh, do you think younger people uh, mm -hmm. will uh, find this appealing, as well as people who perhaps don't speak Zulu? Uh, as I said earlier, this is mm -hmm. not a, a glorification of the Zulu nation, mm -hmm. but this lecture seeks to unify our people because next year we will try and look at U U King Mshuesha on his achievements uh, around the, the, the struggle against the colonialism. Therefore, what I'm trying to say, uh, I mean, I did a show last year at the Jobek Theatre. I saw like a five-year-old screaming. Mm -hmm. So this will appeal to each and everyone who will be there. And it's, this is a very important initiative uh, to safeguard and protect uh, our heritage so that we are presenting a, a better future for our kids. If you look at how Americans have achieved I mean, this, Look at Beyonce, look at uh, the music of the slaves. Swing low, swing mm. low, come. You know, but if you check on how they used to sing this music in the older day, they would like, oh, oh yeah, they're the older man. But if, if you listen to R&B, gospel, you listen to blues. That's where the still, roots are. They still have those roots. But mm. in Africa, we, 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 don't, we don't hear Mikorocho or Huhobela from Abesud. We don't hear Amahubo in, in, in the music of today. It's so American influenced. So mm. this initiative will at least leave an archive mm. for our kids. I think that's, that's the best we can do for our kids, not to fight against each other as the elections are coming. But to celebrate each other. But to celebrate each other. And another thing, we should uh, abstain from trying to uh, accept difference. You're an Indian, you're, you're a Kalan. Mm. We need to celebrate difference. Mm -hmm. And music is just a fantastic way to do exactly. that, isn't it? Exactly. So just very quickly before I let you go, mm -hmm. the details for this African Heritage Ensemble musical lecture, the 25th of January, where? At the Joburg Theatre from half past seven in the evening. Okay, fantastic. 1900. We'll yes. be sure to keep people updated on that. Thank you so much for your time and all the best with the important work that you're doing telling our stories. Thank you so much. People can catch Mbusa Koza on Instagram and Facebook as well so that we can continue with this uh, particular uh, topic. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming in. That's